Hello and welcome to The Game Shed with me, Jamie. This is The First 15, a video series in which we look at the first 15 minutes of gameplay of a given game. And today's given game is a brand new game somewhat overdue for release. Now this is Mystery World Dizzy on the PC, a free download from the Oliver Twins, those geniuses behind all of the Dizzy franchise games those of you brought up in the 80s and 90s will be more than familiar with. Now, originally this game here, this Codemasters plug through, it's called Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy, was released in 1991 on the NES and was soon to be followed up in 93 with a sequel called Mystery World Dizzy. This is what we're playing. Now, unfortunately, this game never came to be because of a restraint of financial backing and whatnot. Now, essentially what Mystery World Dizzy is, is a reboot of this here game. This is Fantasy World Dizzy. Here I've got my Amstrad CPC 464 copy beloved and cherished and probably not played in over 20 years. So this week the Oliver Twins released their finalized NES version for free. You can play it in your web browser, you can download the NES ROM if you've got an NES emulator such as me here on my PC. There is rumors, I don't even think it's rumors, I think it's fact that there will be a Kickstarter coming very soon in which you can pledge on an official NES cartridge version of this game. Now I haven't played this in about 20 years or so, I don't know what changes are in this port, I'm not entirely sure at all, but I've got a 15 minute timer in front of me and with that the moment we can take control of Dizzy, our eggy protagonist, that is when the timer will begin. So those of you not familiar with the Dizzy games, you might not be too keen on this, but those of you who are will fall in love with this instantly. If you like puzzle games, this is certainly the game for you. So I've got my Xbox controller, I've configured my emulator. Here we go. I can now take control of Dizzy. I'm gonna begin our 15 minute countdown now. So same rules apply. We've got jump and pick up and we can carry two things at a time. I've just picked up an apple and a bit of bread. Let's have a look at this chap. Can we get out? Hang on, there's a star there. So we've got to collect the stars. As you can see, there's 99 more to get. Please let me out, says Dizzy. I'd like to, but if the king found out, he'd torture me. Oh, that's not nice. Here, do you want one of my things? Here, you give the apple to the troll. For me? You're so generous. I won't look if you, ha if you want to escape out using the fireplace using that jug of water. Handy. Very handy. Right, so we now have the jug of water and as is the case with the mechanics of the Dizzy games, you have to drop things in order to use them. It's got its original NES style going on here, so I'm just going to put down the piece of bread, pick up the piece of bread, put down the jug of water, you throw the jug of water onto the burning fire. The fire is out, I can now escape. The jug quickly extinguishes the fire. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the jug again and jump up here. There is another star. There's another star. I absolutely love Dizzy. Now, I've uh, I've actually got an autograph. Full fanboyism. I've got an autograph from the Oliver Twins that I cherish and uh, I have most Dizzy games on cassette still. They're about the only cherished games in uh, Amstrad games in my collection. Right, the rat eats the stale bread. That oh, was stale, was it? So I guess the rat has buggered off. There we go, I've got another star. We can jump up there. Can I do, yes, that style of jump. I was just, just having a wonder there. Oh God, this doesn't look particularly pleasant. So if I start my jump from back here, right, what is that above me? That looks like a spike. What is this? Pick it up. No, we can't pick it up. I don't know what it is. Can I jump on the alligator's back? Should we try? It, it would help if, if I actually waited for the crocodile to, uh... I'll come, I'll come. 
I'll come back to him. Let's just jump up here for the time being. See what's popping over here. Ah, probably for the best that I did that. I'll, c I'll come back to the alligator crocodile thing. You need to be really careful with uh, Dizzy games. That you don't roll too much like I just did. And remembering where all the bits and pieces are in order to make progression. Can I jump that? Yeah, I probably can. Let's have a little try. Ah, oh, come on, man. You can make that. Surely. There. Easy does it. There's a lever. Are you going to... Dizzy gives the lever a good hard shove. Excellent. I can hear something moving, says Dizzy. Right, in fact, I'm going to just quickly try a little crafty over here. There we go. That wasn't that crafty. I love Dizzy's games. If you uh, if you guys have ever played a Dizzy game, let me know which one sticks in mind. Perhaps you had the famous Codemasters plug through, like I just showed. I'm going to try and go right up here. There we go. Avoiding the spider. There appears to be an extra life there. Whoa! That's going to be needed now. We've still got 10 minutes and 50 odd seconds. Right, let's try and get that life before I die. Nice. I think that's an extra life anyway. Uh, right, so 85 stars. I don't quite trust myself enough yet to uh, go down that corridor with two critters. Oh, come on, man. They've kept the mechanics beautifully. And what I like that the Oliver Twins have done is they've kept the graphics as they intended them to be. I don't like when retro reboots get the the cutesy polish. Those of you who've been interested in uh, the likes of the Wonder Boy reboot, for example, you know what I mean? Well, I don't know why I did that. So I seem to have a leg of lamb or something. Am I going to be able to jump that rat? I'm kind of curious about going to the right here. Oh god, this isn't going to go well, is it? It's just a rat, but it's fine. Or is it? Because I am an egg. I didn't touch him. I guarantee there were no sprites that touched his mousy sprite. It is a star. Do you know what? I might come back for that. I'm not brave enough. And I want to, I want to progress for as much of this as possible in the nine remaining minutes. Although... Do I think I will survive the nine remaining minutes? No. Especially not when uh, I do silliness like that. Alright, up you go. Oh. This is annoying me. Come on. Oh, I know what I have to do. Right, bucket. I've got a bucket. Well, and some ham, or a leg of lamb. Ah, oh, there is a, a cool dizzy over there. Uh, I want cool dizzy. What are you saying, bruv? What are you doing here, Denzil? Oh, it's Denzil. It's not a cool dizzy. It's Denzil. Don't you know it's dangerous here? No, man. It's a mega cool place. But I was being held prisoner in a dungeon. Quick, hurry up with this. Oh, I thought mouse was going to touch me. Uh, here, take this whip I found earlier. You may find it useful. Well, what am I going to dump? Alright, I've, I've got to dump that. Hey, Denzel, I was wondering if you had anything else which might be useful. No, man, not a thing. Well, I'd like to take the whip. Can I put that fire out, perhaps, with the bucket of water no the whip no okay so this is where the dizzy games come into their own because you've got to leave stuff lying around and and you can't always remember exactly where you put them 
Right, let's wait for Mr. Mouse to go. Is he going to come all the way now? No, no, no. He's afraid of Denzel. How far up does that spider go? So many questions. Right. Uh, let's just wait for the mouse. Off we go. So if you want to download this game, I will leave the instructions on how you can get this game uh, Okay, in the description below. It is free. Wait for Mr. Mouse. Wait for Mr. Spider. Yeah, buddy. Right, what's up there? Ah, uh, see that? Crafty. Now, that is going to be a very brave star to get, and I don't think I'm brave enough just yet because I don't have enough lives. Right, I'm going to dump the whip just so I can dump the bucket because I want the key. I don't know what the key does, but now I've got to remember where the bucket is. And I've got to remember where the leg of uh, ham is. Leg of ham. That's right, the leg of ham. Right, over we go to the right. <sighs> no. Not brave enough. Let's carry on exploring. Gonna go to the right, uh, to the left this time. Knocked himself out. Come on, Dizzy. Not entirely sure. Ah, oh, can go this way. Is he gonna drown? I'm not entirely sure. This is. Hey, good lad. Love the animation in this. Well done to the Oliver twins for giving us a bit of a. Bit of a fan favourite for me. You, can I whip you? Hi, Rockwart. Get out of here, Dizzy. I told you uh, how. Go before we both get in trouble. I've already been and gone, mate. I'm back. Just to have a little exploration. Okay, we're gonna have to chance the gator, I think. That seems to be the most logical thing. Ah. There appears to be a secret entrance this way. Maybe, actually, one should try the uh, the key in all of the doors. Don't put objects down behind things. All right, all right, fucking hell. Let me try the key on this door. Go away, Rockwart. Nope. Worth a try. 3 minutes 50 will we brave the crocodile that is yet to be seen because there are a couple of doors I might go and try before we do such a brave bold and possibly stupid move where the hell was I going ok I went up here aha yes Jamie recalls now, so this is the way to the alligator thing. Uh, let me just see if there's any doors this way. Bucket. <laughs> Avoid the mouse. Avoid the spider. Let's try the key here. Nope. Let's go to the left. Ah, oh, there's an area. There's a mass. Nice, nicely done, Dizzy. Oh, Christ, there's a big triceratops. What's he want? He probably wants a leg of hand, doesn't he? 
Well, I'm not going to be able to... Let me have a look. If I take the lower path... No, can't take the lower path. Can I jump him? How far does the jump take us? I don't think I'm going to be able to jump him. I could... No, I'm going to land it. What happens if I go here? Right, he doesn't chase you. Uh, he doesn't appear to want the whip. He doesn't appear to want the key. So I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave the key there. I'm going to rush and I'm going to go and get the leg of lamb or ham. Ah, oh, you absolute tit. That is my game over. Uh, with 1 minute 30 remaining, I was not paying attention. I am going to leave it there in terms of my gameplay because uh, if I start again, we're, we're not going to get anywhere. We have got a minute and 15 or so remaining. We'll, we'll chalk that up as a failure. If you do want to get this game, do so. Go and click on the link in the description. See if you can get further than me, which you clearly will be able to. But that is the follow-up to this plug-through. It would have been interesting to see. Uh, it would have probably been a plug-through device like this. It's Codemaster's genius way to circumvent the uh, Nintendo seal of quality assurance, etc., uh, you you essentially you have to put a genuine game in there then you have to pop this in and it's all very nicely kind of not pirating but a way to circumvent their their uh, ownership of their console and only approving uh, software that they choose to go on their system so fantasy world dizzy it is a remaster of this not a remaster a NES port of this using one of these and if you do want to own a physical copy on the NES of that remember to keep an eye out for the Kickstarter coming very very soon so thank you very much to the Oliver Twins for actually putting this on the internet for free you are absolute heroes there's the 15 minute timer I'm gonna dismiss that do remember to leave a thumbs up and show your support for the Oliver Twins and Dizzy if you're a secret fan or even if you're an, a full-blown fan like me do get involved, leave a comment below. So thanks for watching everyone, and until the next time, I'll see you later.